And our top story this noon, a D.C. police officer dead and the hunt is on for the man who killed him. John Gonzalez is live in Prince George's County where police just wrapped up a news conference in just the last few minutes. John, what do we know at this point? Well, Scott, Prince George's County Police calling this an execution style murder and the suspect is still on the loose, armed and dangerous. We can tell you the manhunt continues for 27 year old Antoine James. He's accused of shooting and killing his stepfather, 46 year old Joel Knoll, a sixth district detective with DC police and police saying this afternoon this all started over an argument over yard work. Prince George's County Police have been using hound dogs all day long, searching the streets, the yards, and the large wooded area that surrounds this upscale gated community in Upper Marlboro. Not sure if the suspect was inside the home. Police actually treated this as a barricade situation for several hours, eventually getting several residents out of the home safely. We understand Antoine James lives at the home with other biological siblings. Police say he refused to do yard work and then shot his stepfather in the driveway of the home and then stood over his stepfather and kept firing. This is the uh, dispute in this matter was simply over yard work. Uh, Off-duty Detective Newell asked his 27-year-old stepson to simply give him a hand with some yard work. Uh, the shooter in this case, the stepson, James, uh, didn't like it and shot and killed his stepfather. It's uh, as simple and as tragic as that. And the detective described here by D.C. police as a fantastic veteran detective for the D.C. police force. Now 27 year old James, of course, still on the loose and police say he's known in the area. He has a lot of friends and he's also been in trouble with the law in the past. In fact, he was also fired from the D.C. Fire Department five years ago. It is still unclear why. Reporting live from Prince George's County Police Headquarters, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News. All right, John, an unbelievable story there.